Kansas City full of trailblazers, you know that. This morning we're introducing you to a man who's been breaking barriers and records for more than five decades. And KSHB 41 sports reporter Aaron Ladd has our latest Black History Month report. A piece of black history close to home. The Sonny Maynard story, one of inspiration, success, and perseverance. He was one of the first uh, black coaches, head coaches for baseball, uh, even as an instructor. And also one of the founding fathers as far as getting the school together. I was one of the very first uh, people hired. Part of the initial faculty at Johnson County Community College. I think there were 35 of us originally and I was one of them. Sonny Maynard, a stellar athlete in his own right. His journey bounced him around the Sunflower State during the late 1950s with stops in Arkansas City and Winfield reaffirming his love for athletics and education before a new opportunity arose. Johnson County was new territory. I heard a lot about Johnson County, but had never been here before. Opening a whole new world of first. There were not many minorities who lived in the area. We would drive down the street and We'd look over and, and we'd, every once in a while, I said, well, there's one over there. That's a <laughs> Sonny Maynard, tabbed as the first baseball coach in school history back in 1969. Hey, I'm going into this. I'm going to do the best I can, and, and uh, we'll leave it at that. I think I can do it. From thinking to achieving. In 14 seasons under Maynard, the Cavaliers won 504 games, averaging 36 wins per season, including a top 10 national ranking in 1974. During that span, I think we won maybe 28 games in a row or something like that. We just had excellent uh, teamwork and uh, camaraderie. Owning a career 74% winning percentage as Cavs skipper, Maynard sent 19 players to Major League camps. Ironically, the first uh, team that we had here at Johnson County in 1969 was all white. My thing to them was, yeah, there's a difference in people, but it's not color. And I believe that sincerely. In 1986, Maynard stepped in as Cavs women's basketball coach, inheriting a winless 0-26 team and winning 22 games in his first year. Between the two sports, never a losing season. We get this inner confidence. Hey, they say I can't do it. I'm going to prove I can. I mean, even in the worst of times, he still maintains a positive attitude. <laughs> now retired and living in Olathe, Maynard remembers his time at JCCC joyfully. What do you believe is your greatest accomplishment? Well, I think uh, inspiring others, whether it was in the classroom, whether on the basketball floor, or in just everyday community life. Sonny Maynard, a living inspiration for those near and far. My dad was a trailblazer, and the school in general uh, was a trailblazer too, by the fact that uh, they were willing to hire a black man during the uh, time where black people were fighting for their civil rights. I've always felt that you, you uh, lead by example. If you can show them just by your attitude and, and, and accomplishment, then this will be an example to them that, that maybe, uh, maybe this isn't such a bad thing. Reporting in Overland Park, Aaron Ladd, KSHB 41 Sports.